Hi folks, I'm back with the same uh, motor just for a little bit here to explain a little bit more things to you. I'm going to sort of adjust this coil just a little bit this direction so that I can get a little bit of speed up on this motor. Um, John K. asked me to show you what was underneath here. So there's the paper towel and there's the roll what's left of the roll of magnesium and just put the paper towel back over here okay now I've added some things to the motor to play with it a little bit um, one thing that I did want to point out to you is that these these bearings are very very sensitive and I have to machine these to give you uh, precise rotor for this so if you just touch it it just keeps going and then this thumb screw will let you adjust the needle bearings that ride in these brass cups and the whole thing's made out of brass okay so one thing that I'm going to point out to you right now is that here is the charging battery and I put a diode here and get this out of the way so you can see it I've got the scope probe hooked up to the through the reed and then of course the, the coil comes down through here and the reed would act just like as if there's a transistor there on the regular monopole and uh, here's the meter and you can see that there's one volt and this is a NICAD so it's about 1.255 now and what's charging that is this iron pyrite and magnesium with some calcium chloride I haven't done anything to the rock or the water that's just what's left so there's not very much in here at all it's drying out actually in the motors running pretty good here and then here is the waveform when it's in the recharge mode and I'll see if I can bring this in a little bit and freeze this and actually that's a little bit too much so let me expand out a little bit catch it this way and then freeze it and then you can look at one of the spikes right here now if you notice down here at the bottom it says that when it's running there's a good a good look of when it hits the diode right here and then it rings out see So if you look down here, the scope is actually measuring the voltage that's hitting the battery in a spike. And it says it's doing it at almost, it's jumping between 2 to 4 volts here. I'll let you watch it. Okay. And I'll up this a little bit. I'll bring the position down. this line so I'm at a half a millivolt per division so one two so it's about almost four volts to the top here okay and you and everybody asked what the scope is it's a 2542 digital scope with freeze and when you freeze it you just hit this button here and that freezes the waveform I'll freeze it and you got a menu for each one of these so that you can adjust things like you have a menu for utility and a menu will pop up there and you choose what you want 
then you've got a clear button down here and you've got a menu on the horizontal you clear it and you've got a menu on the trigger so you can use edge type like me or whatever you're going to do but I wanted you to see that under recharge and uh, I haven't done anything to this this battery but John K sort of asked me to um, to show him what was under the rock so I want to get that real clear if I can so I'm just going to move the rock out I can actually just put the rock over here and the motor will continue to run you can see that and there's the magnesium what's left from trying out laser sabers battery of course it's all inspired by laser saber I want to point that out and I'll just put the rock back on top there and all I do is just take this water when it's dry like this just add a little bit to it and the motor takes right off again and if you look very closely on this meter you can just see the meter wiggling upward it's very hard to see but it can be seen so I just want to tell you that uh, I'm making progression on all this and I'm gonna try a different kind of battery soon thanks for watching